What is good, Unisport fam? We are blessed with the presence of the one and only Mary Fowler. Great to have you here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What is up, Unisport fam? We are blessed with the presence of the one and only Mary Fowler. Great to have you here. Thanks for having me. How are you? Good? I'm, I'm good. I'm cold, but I'm good. All right, we're gonna get you a little bit warmer because you are gonna teach me and everyone watching how to stay composed in the box because I know that's something you're good at. Ice cold, literally, <laughs> in the box. In general, how do you stay calm and composed when you're gonna score? on a goal. You know what, for me, I think actually it's the work off the field that keeps me composed when I'm in the box. I think like preparation is key. For me, visualization is key. Like knowing what you're going to do in those situations before you even get in them. Okay, so you visualize like every single scenario that you can encounter, like you have all these scenarios in your head already. A lot of them, yeah. Like I think for me, um, often like I'll go through a scenario on the field, like if I'm playing in a match or something, and if it works, then, then I know that that works obviously. But if it doesn't work, I think it's key for me to go over that and just be like, well, where was the keeper? Where was the defender? What went wrong? And then just work it out and like practice that in my head. So then next time I know what to do. All right, so we've got our very own Christian in goal right now. So you have visualized in your head, you're going one-to-one -one against the goalkeeper. He's rushing out at you. What's the first thing that comes into your mind? Um, I think for me, if he's coming so fast and there's still space behind him to the goal, I think um, using his momentum against him is, is key. Like I think taking, if you, if you have enough space to take a touch pass, I think that's what I do because then it just opens the whole goal up. Yeah. Because obviously the closer he is, to me, then the the more narrow it is to get the ball into the goal. Yeah, so let's say that we have this distance between you. Yeah. Um, would you take another touch straight ahead or would you go side to go around him? Side. side. I, you know, if he's coming at speed, he's still able to cover that, that area like directly around him. Uh -huh. So I think for me, if I know the goal's there and there's that much space, yeah. I can take my touch out there yeah. and still shoot. It's just about giving myself more of an area to hit the ball into the net. What if he stays there then? and you have this, this much space in between you, do you take one, two, three touches or would you look up or what would you do in this scenario? Um, you know, I think for me it, it changes each time because it's like, I don't know, I feel like one-on-ones are actually, I find, some of the hardest goals to score because you, you think about them so much because yeah. like I said, like the closer I go to him, the, the tighter the shot is getting. Um, but then at the same time, the closer you go to him, the closer you are to goal. So I think it changes, you know, in, in different scenarios also, like which angle you're coming at. Yeah. But I mean, I think from here, if you're able to curl it, I don't, I think he's going to want to protect the inside post as well. So yeah. yeah, I think you could do it from here. So let's switch it up a little bit and add me into the equation. He's still there, obviously, because he's the goalie. What's your thinking process right now? My thinking process is I just need enough space to shoot. Okay. I think with you in front of me, it kind of blocks the view from the keeper a bit. Mm -hmm. I think if I take you this way, like depending on where you are, you know, in the box, the keeper's going to be in a certain area. Yeah. So if I'm if I'm here right now, mm -hmm. he's going to be covering the near post. Mm -hmm. So if I take a touch early and curve it, he's not getting there. Yeah. So it just depends where you are. But I think having a defender there, you just need enough space to shoot. And that element of surprise is going to catch keeper off guard. I think. In general then, composure, like mm -hmm. how do you, you know, stay off this mm -hmm. and open up your head and mind? I think that's something that you can, you can practice quite a bit in, in your own time. Like, I think for me in training, doing cones and stuff helped me to like have more vision when I'm mm -hmm. dribbling with the ball. And I think that's really important in situations like this because you have to watch what the keepers, you know, gonna do in some of these scenarios, especially like a one-on-one -on -one with them. Um, so yeah, I think for me, like, being able to do the cones, practice that, but then visualizing as well, you know, that's for me what works. I mean, amazing. You heard it here first, everyone. So Mary Fowler, she has the best tips on visualizing, on keeping calm, keeping cool, keeping composed in the box. Mary, thank you so much and best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. 